when you be calmed it's nice if you've got something to look at actually we've got about one knot of wind The art of drinking a cup of coffee in a gale. How long has it been now? Um, three days. It's, yeah, it's three days. It's gotten really bright and sunny, uh, but the wind's picked up even higher, and uh, the waves are more violent, obviously. And Chris is getting battered, and so am I. Uh, um, I've been blown now maybe oh, 45 miles back in the three days. I've been getting blown back at a, a rate of about one and a half, two knots an hour. Um, um, and so if this continues like this for a little bit longer, which I think it's going to, um, yeah, I'm changing my plans. I'm going to take her, if I can make it, which I will, um, to the Balearic Islands, probably Mallorca course that's you know that's where the people I love are so I'll go back there um, because I'm being blown in that direction anyway as well I think it's a sign um, so I'm gonna take out the water and do the repairs that need doing um, I have got insurance so hopefully that they can cover my insurance for me but it's going to have to be the mast and the boom because there's something really wrong with them. They're rattling too much. Um, the engine, well, you know, the engine, it's... I even think the oil is filled with water now. Uh, and there's a problem with the electrics. Um, the outboard, like I said, doesn't work, but, you know. Yeah, the electrics. I'm concerned about the electrics. And she was nearly knocked down totally. And so, uh, you know. Yeah. It's all been good fun though, and it still is. Now, it hasn't finished yet. <laughs> I've got this. This is, has to finish. And then I have to try and get back to a port uh, with her in the state she's in. But as a superstructure, as a, you know, offshore yacht this shows some amazing she's more than they call them offshore yachts this is a around the world cruiser i mean she's a battleship i've said that before a long time ago um it's amazing man i feel totally safe in her you know i, th I feel totally safe in her she's not going to fall apart on me um at all so that's the update anyway been over three days I've been drifted back to Mallorca so that's where I'm probably gonna go um, and then um, I'll upload these videos and you all have a good laugh <laughs> a two, a two month a two month 
all packed in to a very short time because I'm telling you in these in these last couple of weeks I've had so many things happen to me you know that you know all of that two month trip I did last time um, from Wales to Mallorca uh, I've had it all I've had it all and even more violent I think you know apart from that one storm I got hit off Ibiza and the calms here have just been maddening maddening um, but yeah it's all more experience for me uh, I understand now I'm not a bad sailor I, I can actually handle her especially yesterday when I keep trying to I was tacking her through this gale trying to get her into some good situation so I can heave to so that she could go in the right direction I ended up still going in the wrong direction but I did try I did try and I didn't lose me cool um, I've had a few accidents of course and I have got injuries but you know like I said before you, you could walk down your steps in your house and fall over your cat and break your neck so have an adventure no matter how long it lasts <laughs> and it's never a failure it's never a failure it's just the next step to the next adventure Anyway, I don't want to waste my battery.